Hey, how's it going? Nat here. Let's take a look at what's been making news. If you think magpies have been out to get you lately, well, you're probably not wrong. It's magpie swooping season. Charlotte thought she'd give you some tips on how to stay safe and spoke to someone who's got a pretty unique way of stopping them. It's springtime, the sun is shining, the flowers are blooming and there's a familiar sound in the air. Wait a minute, you're not a magpie. This is Mark, or the Magpie Man from TikTok, as you might know him. And he's racked up more than 1.5 million views on his scarily accurate Maggie impression videos. So, Mark, when did you discover you had this talent? Uh, when I was a kid, at school, um, getting swooped. So what did you do? <laughs> and they stopped swooping. <laughs> and I haven't done it since. That's right, it's not just a cool party trick. And Mark says his warbling skills come in really handy during magpie sweeping season. That happens every year between August and October, when daddy magpies attack pretty much anything they deem to be a threat for about six weeks until their buds can leave the nest. Experts say it's best to just avoid them at this time of year because they can cause some pretty serious damage. But Mark reckons he's found an alternative. Well, a combination between the magpie on the helmet and the warble, um, it works. <laughs> do you reckon you could teach me how to do it? The warble? Yeah. Yeah. you got to start off with a... <laughs> and then a... <laughs> oh, that's high. <laughs> and then a... <laughs> okay, and then mix them all together. <laughs> I'm out of a job. <laughs> There's also a few other things you can try like wearing something scary on your head or avoiding eye contact. But I'm pretty happy to stick with my newfound skill. Production of The Batman has come to a halt because its star has tested positive for COVID-19. British actor Robert Pattinson will now self-isolate for two weeks before filming starts again. The Batman had only just gone back into production because of lockdown. Melbourne is still in lockdown, but one young resident has found a way to make staying at home a bit more fun. She started her own community postal service called Local Lockdown Letters. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Claudia and I live in Carlton and I run a postal service called Local Lockdown Letters. Hence this mailbox. <laughs> It is a way to encourage people to get out and get active and write letters and hand deliver them to people in their local neighbourhood and beyond. Here I am with my letter to the owl, which is the code name for my friend Olivia, and I'm the Arctic Fox. I'm going to fold it up. I live in Melbourne and because of COVID-19, everything's all, all weird and we're in stage four. So we're only allowed to go outside for an hour and we can only go five k's away. 67. This project is important to me because it's the reason I get up in the morning and it's really, really fun. Cause when I wake up, I'm like, oh, do I really have to get up? Another day, lockdown. And this project is like really important to me. Finally today, we're gonna focus on things that make us see red, figuratively, literally, and all the other E's. This little guy is a red panda from Taronga Zoo with a hearty appetite for bamboo. The red pandas, along with their chimp, gorilla and elephant friends, eat 5,000 bamboo sticks a year. Sydney Trains has been clearing heaps of bamboo from the train lines, and now they're donating it to the zoo. This is a Big Mac, and this is a Big Jack. One's from McDonald's and the other's from Hungry Jack's. Yeah, I guess you could say there are some similarities. And that's what Maccas reckons too. They say they've caught Hungry Jack's red-handed trying to copy their very, very well-known burger. So they've channeled their red-hot, flame-grilled rage into a legal bun fight, suing Hungry Jacks and asking them to stop the Big Jack. And NASA has tested a rocket booster in the middle of a desert in Utah. The red flames and smoke all look very impressive, but uh, I'll keep my distance, thanks. Well, that's all for this week. We'll see you again next week. 
Oh, and uh, like and subscribe if you want to do that too. It really helps us out. Bye.